this week's parasha, Parshas Bo, Rashi cites a medrash telling us that Makas Choshech actually served a dual purpose. The main purpose being the one that's obvious from the Torah itself, to punish the Mitzrim for the Shibud of Klal Yisrael. But there was a secondary purpose as well. There was a large group of Klal Yisrael that Hashem felt weren't deserving of being part of the Geula. And therefore, he wanted to get rid of them before the Geula was to happen. But on the other hand, if you were to kill them in broad daylight, then the Mitzram would come along and say, oh, look, it's not just us, it's also Kla Yisrael that's being punished. This isn't directed towards us. So Hashem had to use Makas Choshech as a cover for the plague that was brought against Kla Yisrael themselves to get rid of the Rishonim amongst them so that they wouldn't be part of the Gula and it wouldn't be noticed either because it was during Choshech. The Rosh in his Peir Shal Torah asks a question on this Medrash. If it's really true that the Rishonim were all killed off in Makas Choshech and weren't allowed to leave Mitzrayim in the Gula, how is it that we find in the future events of the Torah that Rishonim still seem to be around? He zeroes in specifically on the case of Dasan Vaviram, who we find were involved in many of the episodes of challenges against the authority of Moshe Rabbeinu after Kriyas Yamsuf. Uh, they, when Klai Yisrael had their backs against the Yamsuf and the Mitzrayim were closing in, they protested. When Moshe Rabbeinu gave instructions to not leave over Mun to the next day in the Midbar, they didn't listen and they did leave over. When the Miraglim came back with their report against, Eretz, against going into Eretz Yisrael, they were part of the effort to return to Mitzrayim. And in, their, in, in, in this, the episode that led to their final demise, they joined Korach in his rebellion, his direct rebellion against the authority of Moshe Rabbeinu. So if anyone deserved to be taken out during Makas Choshech, seemingly it would be them. How is it that we find that they survived? Says the Rosh, a very powerful idea to answer this question. In Hanami, it's true that Das and Vaviram and those similar to them were Rishayim with many flaws and many sins on their hands. But in the end of the day, even Dasan Vaviram, lo nisyashu mea geula, they never despaired from their being a geula. Hashem wasn't just looking to kill all the sinners of Klal Yisrael before there, to be, there was to be a geula. That wasn't the matara, that wasn't the purpose of what Hashem was doing. What Hashem was doing was getting rid of those who completely despaired from their being a geula. Right? We see from here that a person, no matter how low a person sinks, no matter how stuck in the mud a person can get, as long as they don't give up, as long as they believe that it's possible for them to be redeemed, they believe, they believe and have the will to progress, to do better, to achieve greater things, to achieve ge'ula, even if they're so on such a low level, Hashem doesn't give up on you. Hashem is going to stretch out His hand and Adar Abba help you in achieving that gula. Only those who completely despair from ever progressing, from ever doing better, from ever achieving the gula, those are the ones who are in trouble, and those are the ones who weren't spared during Makas Choshech. Wishing you all a very good Shabbos.